Hello and good day. Still, our topic for today is standard costing and variance analysis. In this video, I'm going to discuss the direct labor variances. Direct labor variance is simply known as labor variance. Here, we are going to compute for the labor cost variance. Ang labor cost variance, ito yung total labor variance. To compute for the labor cost variance or the total labor variance, just simply deduct standard labor cost from the actual labor cost. Meaning to say, actual labor cost minus standard labor cost that is equal to labor cost variance or total labor variance. Para naman makompute yung actual labor cost, tandaan nyo lang yung AHR. AH times AR. Meaning to say, actual hours times actual rate. Para naman makompute yung standard labor cost, tandaan nyo lang yung SHISER. SH times SR. Meaning to say, standard hours times standard rate. So, madali lang siyang tandaan, AHAR minus SHISER, that is equal to labor cost variance or total labor variance. Now, this labor cost variance or total labor variance must be analyzed. That's why, hatiin pa natin siya into two. First is the labor rate variance and second is the labor efficiency variance. The labor rate variance is also known as labor price variance, labor spending variance, and labor money variance. Do not be confused when you encounter these terms because they mean labor rate variance. The labor rate variance is equal to actual hours times difference in rates. Meaning to say, actual hours times actual rate minus standard rate. The labor efficiency variance is also known as labor hours variance, labor usage variance, and labor time variance. The labor efficiency variance is equal to the difference in hours times standard rate. Meaning to say, actual hours minus standard hours times standard rate. Para mas madali nyo makompute yung labor cost variance or total labor variance, isulat nyo lang yung AHAR at SHISER. Actual hours times actual rate, standard hours times standard rate. After that, kunin nyo yung product ng AHAR at SHISER. After getting the product, kunin nyo yung difference ng dalawang amounts. Then determine if the variance is favorable or unfavorable. Kung mas malaki yung amount na nasa itaas kaysa dun sa amount na nasa ibaba, that is unfavorable. Kung mas malaki yung amount na nasa ibaba kaysa dun sa amount na nasa itaas, that is favorable. Para makompute yung labor rate variance, isulat nyo lang yung AHAR at ASER. Actual hours times actual rate Actual hours times standard rate. Tapos kunin nyo yung product ng AHAR at ASER. After getting the product, kunin nyo yung difference ng dalawang amounts. Then determine if the variance is favorable or unfavorable. Kung mas malaki yung amount na nasa itaas kaysa doon sa amount na nasa ibaba, that is unfavorable. Pero kung mas malaki yung amount na nasa ibaba kaysa dun sa amount na nasa itaas, that is favorable. 
Para ma-compute yung labor efficiency variance, uh, isulat nyo lang yung ASER at SHISER. Actual hours times standard rate, standard hours times standard rate. Tapos kunin nyo yung product ng ASER at SHISER. After that, kunin nyo yung difference ng dalawang amounts. Then determine if the variance is favorable or unfavorable. Kung mas malaki yung amount na nasa itaas kaysa doon sa amount na nasa ibaba, that is unfavorable. Pero kung mas malaki yung amount na nasa ibaba kaysa doon sa amount na nasa itaas, that is favorable. Take note na kapag pinagsama natin yung labor rate variance at labor efficiency variance that is equal to the labor cost variance or total labor variance. Let's apply the formulas by answering a problem. During the month, 1,200 units of H were produced. Actual direct labor required was 650 direct labor hours at an actual cost of 6,370 pesos. According to the standard cost card for H, half an hour of labor should be required per unit of H produced at a standard cost of 10 pesos per labor hour. Requirements compute for the following. First, labor cost variance or total labor variance. Second, labor rate variance. And third, labor efficiency variance. Let's answer requirement number one, labor cost variance or total labor variance. So isulat niyo muna yung ahar at shisser. Ang actual hours ay 650 direct labor hours that is given in the problem. Ang actual rate naman, kailangan pa natin i-compute. Ang actual cost ay 6,370 pesos at merong 650 direct labor hours. So ang gagawin natin, 6,370 pesos divided by 650 direct labor hours to compute for the actual rate. 6,370 pesos divided by 650 direct labor hours that is equal to 9.8 pesos and that is the actual rate. 650 times 9.8 pesos, that is equal to 6,370 pesos. Next, standard R's. Sinabi dito sa problem na half an R of labor should be required per unit of H produced. So kung nangangailangan ng kalahating oras, Para makapag-produce ng isang unit ng product H at nakapag-produce ng 1,200 units of H, then 1,200 units times 0.5, that is equal to standard R's of 600 R's. Again, 1,200 units times 0.5, that is equal to 600. Next, standard rate that is already given in the problem, 10 pesos per labor hour. So 600 times 10 pesos, that is equal to 6,000 pesos. Next, kailangan natin kunin yung difference. 6,370 minus 6,000, that is equal to 370. Since mas malaki yung amount na nasa itaas, this variance is unfavorable. So the answer in requirement number 1 is 370 pesos unfavorable. Next, requirement number two, labor rate variance. 
So, isulat nyo muna yung Ahar at Asur. Ang actual hours ay 650 at ang actual rate ay 9.8 pesos. 650 times 9.8 pesos, that is equal to 6,370 pesos. Ang actual hours ay 650 at ang standard rate ay 10 pesos. 650 times 10 pesos, that is equal to 6,500 pesos. Next, kailangan natin kunin yung difference. 6,370 minus 6,500 pesos, that is equal to 130 pesos. Since mas malaki yung amount na nasa ibaba, Kaysa dun sa amount na nasa itaas, this is favorable. So the labor rate variance is 130 pesos favorable. Next, requirement number 3, labor efficiency variance. So isulat nyo muna yung asir at shisir. Ang actual hours ay 650 at ang standard rate ay 10 pesos. 650 times 10 pesos, that is equal to 6,500 pesos. Ang standard hours ay 600 at ang standard rate ay 10 pesos. 600 times 10 pesos, that is equal to 6,000 pesos. Next, kunin natin yung difference. 6,500 pesos minus 6,000 pesos. That is equal to 500 pesos. Since mas malaki yung amount na nasa itaas kaysa doon sa amount na nasa ibaba, this variance is unfavorable. So the labor efficiency variance is 500 pesos unfavorable. Kapag pinagsama natin yung labor rate variance at labor efficiency variance, that is equal to the labor cost variance or the total labor variance. Ang labor rate variance ay 130 pesos favorable. At ang labor efficiency variance ay 500 pesos unfavorable. Since mas malaki yung unfavorable kaysa sa favorable, this is unfavorable. Then get the difference between 500 pesos and 130 pesos. 500 pesos minus 130 pesos, that is equal to 370 pesos. Therefore, the labor cost variance or total labor variance is equal to 370 pesos unfavorable. If ever yung 500 pesos ay favorable at yung 130 pesos ay unfavorable, then the labor cost variance or total labor variance is equal to 370 pesos favorable. Kung pareho naman silang favorable, then the labor cost variance or total labor variance is equal to 630 pesos favorable. Kung pareho naman silang unfavorable, then the labor cost variance or total labor variance is equal to 630 pesos unfavorable. Again, the variances need to be analyzed. Kailangang i-analyze yung variances para malaman kung saan na magdetake ng necessary corrective actions at para malaman kung sino yung responsible for that variance. If the variance is a labor rate variance, the possible causes are the skills of the workers and overtime premiums if premium is added to the labor cost account and the responsible persons for the labor rate variance are the supervisors and persons responsible for setting labor rates. 
If the variance is a labor efficiency variance, the possible causes are the skills of the workers, the change in workers' efficiency, and imposition of control measures in the production process. The responsible person for the labor efficiency variance is the production manager.